What's going on guys, Probably Apathy back in the building with another video. Today we're going to be talking about something that's been very sensitive lately. Should the CWL be 18 and plus? Now for someone who's already past 18, obviously it doesn't really affect me. Obviously I don't care too much about it. Obviously I'm happy, I'm okay with it because I am not being affected by it. But there's obviously a lot of players, there's a lot of kids that want to play and they can't all because of this rule. And to my understanding, it's a lot about profession, you know, a lot of kids are not mature yet, you know, they don't act professional, and they don't treat, they don't carry themselves that way, that's the word I was searching for, so obviously I can completely understand that, and I also completely understand that Activision now is pretty much, you know, leading this CWO, they're pretty much the ones, or the big names out there that are helping make this happen, and their game is 17 plus, so how would it look like if their game is 17 plus, and they're letting 15 year olds play or 14 year olds play, they can technically get sued. I mean, I'm not sure if they could get sued sued, but they obviously can cause a lot of problems. Problems I mean when it comes to like the law and shit. Now before I continue this video, you have to watch this hilarious clip I saw yesterday and this kid literally almost falls off his chair and gets saved. It's a whole bunch of kids yelling at the other team. And before I continue talking about it, you guys just gotta watch it. I'll leave the link to the description below so you guys can go check out the full thing. <laughs> Now you have to admit, the kid almost falling out the chair had you laughing. You're probably giggling. It was pretty funny. I mean, the kid got saved, but that one guy, I don't know, I guess held his chair before he fell to the ground. It was actually a pretty funny clip. But really, really, really what I want to talk about is, obviously, you know, the behavior is not professional. Obviously, they're yelling. You know, they're getting to the opponent's head. And it's understandable. I mean, when I used to play Call of Duty back in the day, you know, in Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, where anybody could play, doesn't matter the age, and you know, a lot of shit talking was involved. Now, up until this day, now we're a little bit more professional, you know, we really don't shit talk across screens and shit. We might do it here and there to get in your head and because we're hyped and because we want to win badly, but it won't get to the extreme that, you know, back in the day would be or now that kids do, you know, like all the yelling and bitching and cursing you out. And like you see in the video, the Nazo says, like, you're going home, you fan. People said, think he said fag, but it got cleared up. I'm pretty sure he said fan. But, you know, stuff like that or like the nameless one, it goes like, I'm eating you alive. That's extreme. Now, I myself love gaming. I have a passion for it. I support it. And if a kid is getting hyped, if he's getting into it, he's like, oh, you saw, oh, oh, three piece. And he's like doing work. I mean, you got to give the kid props. He's obviously, he has a passion for gaming. He obviously loves what he's doing. He's enjoying it. He's having fun. He might be getting a little bit too carried away, but obviously you got to understand his position. Like I said, he's, he's just loving it, man. He's getting the rush. He's just destroying people. And at the same time, you guys got to also admit, there is behavior from adults like us that do the same shit. We we talk shit to the other team, we curse, you know, we, we're like, you fucking suck! You know, we do all that stuff. So like, we can't only be pointing towards kids because obviously we're doing the same thing. But like I explained earlier, you know, when you're older, when you're more mature, you understand what professionalism means. You understand you gotta be more professional, especially when you're presenting a pretty good org or big org. You understand that you can't really do those stuff anymore. And since these kids are coming up, or no matter the ages, because I'm pretty sure even even 18 year olds, 19 year olds, 20 year olds that still play to this day, and they're, they aren't like represented by a big org, probably do the same shit that those kids were doing. So you can't really be biased and only talk shit about the kids, because you gotta think both ways, and I agree, like, should CWL be 18? I, I, I know, no, it shouldn't be. It should be, you know, maybe 13 and plus or something like that, at least, at least around that age, or maybe even 17 plus with a consent form from parents, you know, it's, it's a one age difference, but I know a lot of you guys are maybe 17 and want to play, something like that, and that probably won't ever change, like I said, a couple reasons, due to probably professional, professional, you know, you gotta be really professional, and like I said, the game is 17 plus or 18 plus, I don't even know what it is, rated R. 
and kids technically shouldn't be playing with obviously with the consent of a parent it's okay but at events and stuff like that it'd be a hassle i guess having every parent send a consent form from kids who are like 13 or older you know and them having to receive it and file everything and all that stuff it's probably it'll probably be a big pain in the ass but for all you youngins and the kids that want to play want to be a pro and love call of duty and that's your passion you know scumpy tweets out there like i love call of duty i love call of duty too especially black ops 3 and you know i, I agree with you guys like cwl should not be 18 plus obviously there are certain things but I, I personally think uh, the league itself shouldn't be 18 plus. I think once players who are younger, may, let's say 15, 14, a good example is Huke. Uh, he never really talked to him a shit. But even then, you know, when you start getting carried away, we start talking shit, that's more of a beginning of your career. Once you get on a big org and you represent a big org and you have professional players by you, you know, especially if they're older, they're more mature, they're going to tell you, hey, look, you got to stop saying those things. Hey, you can't talk that much shit. Like, you got to relax or stuff like that. They kind of guide you and you kind of start understanding. You start maturing a little faster saying, hey, look, I'm representing a big org. You know, I obviously got to rep represent them in a professional way. I shouldn't be doing these things. So I really don't think, and I, like I said, like adults do the same thing. If they're not in a big org, I'm pretty sure like an open open tournaments you go to those open tournaments and 18 19 14 12 15 16 20 23 they're still talking shit they're all yelling at each other they're still talking shit and it's just it's a way i guess to get in their head like people like to do that try to get in your head and obviously players do get in their head because you know they're they're not experienced they're nervous you know this is their first land and it works but i just think they take it a little bit too far and like i said once they start representing a bigger org once they get that mentality then i think it will change so i don't think that's that big of a deal I think even though you guys saw this video, it's hilarious. You know, they're talking shit. You can't, it, it shouldn't be just directed towards them, you know. Everyone does it. Either way, guys, this was my thoughts on 18 plus. Should the CW be 18 plus? I don't really think so. I wished it could go lower than that, but obviously you can't control that. Like I said, there's a big reasons why it's gonna probably be 18 plus for a while. What they should do, maybe go 17 plus with like a consent form for 17 year olds. But then even then, I'm pretty sure it'd be a pretty big hassle, but at least it wouldn't be. It may be 200, 300 forms. I mean, I guess that's something they could deal with. I don't know. I don't even know how the whole system works. Obviously, I'm not a lawyer. Obviously, I don't know their their plans, and I'm not inside, you know, the studios of Activision and what they do and what they don't do. So I try to give my best explanation and really talk about it. And I don't think the CDL should be 18 plus. I think it'd be fair. At least to, at least 13, 14 plus would be better. But obviously, that's probably not gonna happen. Uh, the people who are still young and love Call of Duty. I just recommend you guys keep grinding, don't give up. The more you play, the more time you put in. Obviously your name, you can't be like super big, like obviously, but you know, you can still build your like social media, yourself, you can become better. And when your time comes, you'll be a dominant ass player. Either way guys, tell me what you think down in the comments below. If you agree, if you don't agree, what are your thoughts on it? Should it still be 18 plus? Should it not be? Should it be? Should it be not? You let me know down in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This has been your boy Apathy. And I hope you all have an amazing day. Yeah, baby. Mo, peace.